The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Hi guys, we have another Costco haul for you today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, we are The Family Fudge. And on this channel, we share videos that have to do with family activities and grocery hauls, some recipes, some homeschooling videos, and things like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, I invite you to please subscribe. So we're gonna go to Costco today. We're gonna load up on all the things we need and we will take you along with us. You guys ready to go? So today I have Lily with me and I have Mackenzie with me and I have Griffin. And it's a little bit later than I'd like to go to Costco. I usually like to go there first thing in the morning but now that we're in school, we gotta get the school done first. So hopefully it won't be too crowded, let's see. Okay, we made it to Costco, and it doesn't look too crowded, so that's great. And I just have to give a big shout out to my husband, because yesterday, he installed this baby, which is a first for us. We've never had a car new enough to have one already built in, so he installed this little DVD player yesterday, and it came with some Bluetooth um, headphones for the kids, so the entire ride to Costco was silent which was pretty magical. No crying, no complaining, it was awesome. Thanks, honey. So now we're gonna head on in and pick up what we need. What's up, Mom? Is your baby awake? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Hey, Kenzie, guess what? What? Mommy did something silly. What? I left the house in my slippers. <laughs> is that silly? At least they don't look like fuzzy bunnies, right? <laughs> they kind of look like shoes. Yeah, I totally left the house in my slippers. Oh well. And I was supposed to bring back your Anna costume and I forgot. Oh well, next time, right? Look at each other's towels. The towels? Oh, those are blankets. Those are big blankets. Ninja Turtles, Minions, and Superman. Yeah, I see them over there. They're $12.99. That's a pretty good deal. Actually, I'm looking for a blanket for me. Look at the these ones. Which one should I get? I'm liking these. This is cute. Or this one. $12.99. I'm gonna get one of these. Hey girls, look, they have the new holiday dresses. These are $18.99. Look at that pretty gold one. My favorite one is this one. Hey, baby. Okay, let's hurry up and get the rest of the stuff that we need, um, okay? I'm okay. Kiss, I'm gonna kiss him. Okay, kiss him. Here's a cool item I haven't seen before. This is a sleeping bag stuffed animal. Look how cute that is. It's $27.99. Those are new, I haven't seen those before. What do you have? It's a lunch meat. Chicken with some cheese. Yep. Try it, is it good? Mm -hmm. Can you try it? I can try little pieces. Try it. Yum. <coughs> Should we buy some? Mm -hmm. Okay. No samples for babies. Not until you're one. <laughs> Did you try some guacamole? Mm -hmm. Was it good? Mm -hmm. I love guacamole. <laughs> you love guacamole? Mm -hmm. We have things out for Christmas already. Look at this cool animated tree. It's got LED lights and music. It is $79.99. How cute that is. I can't carry that whole box. You can't carry that whole box? No. Gotta put this girl to work. Push it, Kenzie, hard. push it. Is it so heavy? Uh oh, you crashed. No crashing. Are they making pizza in there? Ooh, look at that. That is cool. Happy 
pizza. All right, I just loaded up everything into the car and I'm not gonna lie, that was not the most enjoyable Costco trip I've ever had. I ended up having to carry Griffin in my arms basically the whole time. He decided to be really cranky and I didn't bring our um, infant carrier like my Moby or my Ergo. So I had to push him, I had to hold him and push the cart, full cart at the same time. So it wasn't, it's was a little bit stressful, but you know what, I'm, I'm gonna count my blessings because you know, I'm happy that we can go to the store, I'm happy that we were able to buy food, so I can't complain too much. So we're gonna head on home and I will show you what we got. We're also gonna try to stop in and go to Sprouts. I'm probably not gonna film inside because that's kind of a smaller store and I feel like it's a little bit more awkward when I film in a small store. But when I'm in Costco, there's so many people that they don't, nobody really notices, but Sprouts is kind of more difficult so but I'm planning on picking up all different kinds of pumpkin flavored things they're having a special pumpkin sale for the fall I'll show you all the different kinds of pumpkin spice yummy things we can find all right here's all the stuff let me show you what we got okay so the grand total for everything with what I bought at Sprouts and what I bought at Costco was about $230, which is ouch expensive. So I'll show you what I got from Costco and then I'll show you all of the things I got from Sprouts and all of the fun pumpkin flavored items. So, okay, so I'm gonna start with my one non-food item. This time I picked up this lovely blanket. It is so soft and it's a really pretty soft teal color. And this was $12.99. I got this big box of popped rice crisps. Now I haven't tried these before, but this was only about $10 for this entire box. And there's 36 bags. So I thought that was a pretty good deal and they're gluten free. It comes with apple cinnamon and caramel and chocolate. I think my kids will really like those. And then I got some sliced cheese. This was about $9.99. And these are pre-sliced, which goes really well with the chicken. This is rotisserie chicken. Uh, both of these packages are two pounds each, and this was about $13. So we'll take the cheese and the tur or the chicken and the crackers and make our own lunchables. These crackers were $5.99 and it comes with a variety pack. And then over here we have a double pack of Applewood smoked bacon, and this is um, thick slice. This was $16.99. Then we got another package of the pineapple sausage, and this Bisquick. This Bisquick is not my husband's favorite. Um, it's not gluten-free, and he doesn't think it's very healthy, but I grew up with Bisquick, and so I'm a big fan. And this was only, this huge box, was it's six pounds was only $3.99 and get this you guys if you were to make this whole box all at one time it would make about 155 pancakes that's a lot of pancakes for $3.99 then back here we picked up the um, Costco brand fruit snacks which are now organic and there were 72 in there although I can tell you three packages are already missing, and it was about $10. We have our sour cream, which was about $4. Our Kerrygold butter, which was almost $8. And I know it's kind of shocking to see both eggs and milk in this haul because I almost never buy those at Costco. I get those, the milk I get raw milk locally, and the eggs, we have egg birds. But unfortunately, our raw milk was not available this week and our birds, we have eight laying chickens right now and only getting two eggs a day. So we have a bunch of free loading chickens. And so that means we need to, uh, we needed to pick some up today. And this was about $6.99 for this organic, these organic eggs. We have some strawberries. These were on sale for $2.99 and they are super ripe, so if they don't all get eaten today, they're probably gonna go bad. So we'll have to eat those quickly. You have a box of baby spinach, that's my favorite. Another big watermelon. We're almost to the end of watermelon season, which is 
so sad. Love watermelon. We got a package of the unsalted cashews, six of the bell peppers. Bell peppers were about $6.79 and the cashews were $14.99. We got a thing of Activia. This is on sale right now. I believe this is around $6, just over $6. The milk was $10.99 for two organic, or two gallons of organic milk was $10.99. And then we got this pirate booty. This is on sale right now too. This was $3.99. And it's a huge box, or it's a huge bag. And it actually has a resealable top to help keep it fresh. And then the last thing I got from Costco was this Costco brand organic unsweetened almond milk. And this is in the vanilla flavor. Generally, I buy this one from Costco. It comes in a three pack and it's in the refrigerated section, and for a three pack, that's that equals a gallon and a half. It's $10.99, and I thought I would give this one a try because this one um, doesn't have to be refrigerated, so it doesn't take a, as much space in my fridge, but it's the same volume of milk. There's six quarts, which is the same as one and a half gallons, and this one was only $7.99, so $7.99 for this one, for this six pack, or $10.99 for three of these, I thought for the, for the better price, I was willing to give this one a try. So I'm gonna try that one out. So yeah, that's all the stuff I, oh, I missed the berries. Yeah, my berries are getting defrosted. I need to hurry up and get those in the, in the freezer. Those were $9.99 and we make smoothies out of those. So on this side, I have all of my things from Sprouts minus some bananas and grapes because my kids already ate those. Okay, so I got a bag of onions, some broccoli, a cantaloupe, and I normally get the uh, wasabi flavored pea crisps, but now they have different flavors. This one is a Caesar flavor, and it's actually made of snap peas. This one is a mango chili lime. I picked up a bottle of gluten-free reduced sodium soy sauce and some hoisin sauce. And I love the combo of these when I'm making stir fries or any sort of Asian inspired dish. These make it super yummy. And I think authentic tasting, I don't know. I'm not a trained chef, but it's pretty good. All right, now my kids don't normally drink a lot of juice, but I thought this would be a fun uh, thing to try. This is organic pumpkin spiced apple cider. And then we got two containers of pumpkin spice applesauce. I'm sure they're gonna love that. And then some pumpkin pasta sauce. I'm not sure if they're gonna like this, but we're gonna give it a try. And then I've tried these before. These are the Wow brand um, gluten-free cookies, and this is in the, the pumpkin spice flavor. They make a lot of other flavors like lemon and chocolate chip. If you are gluten-free, these are like the best cookies. They're soft and moist and chewy. So good for gluten-free. Kind of expensive, but they taste similar to uh, Starbucks's pumpkin scones. If you're a fan of that but you're gluten-free, give these a try. These are really good. And then we got some pumpkin flavored puffins cereal made with real pumpkin and these are gluten free. It's hard to find a lot of um, gluten free cereals that are that have pumpkin. And then we have some pumpkin molasses barbecue sauce. So for a dinner this week I'm gonna throw a pork shoulder in the crock pot and let that cook all day and then throw this pumpkin barbecue sauce on top of it and call it good. And then we have some pumpkin seed tortilla chips. They were selling some pumpkin spice salsa that I really wanted to try, but they were sold out, so I picked up this sweet apple salsa. I'm a big fan of flavored salsas, so I was, I'm excited to give that a try. And then we have some pumpkin spice vegetable chips. My husband is a big fan of these vegetable chips, and I thought the pumpkin spice one sounded really tasty. So that is all for what I got at Sprouts, all of the pumpkin things, and all of the Costco items. Okay, there you have it. So if you're new to this channel, I do a Costco haul about once a month, 
and I do fill-in shopping trips um, in between. So if you're a big fan of Costco hauls, definitely hit that subscribe button and come back for more. Also, if you haven't seen the world's biggest Costco tour that I did oh, a month ago, definitely check that out. I'll go ahead and put an iCard up there so you can check that out after. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.